Ah, yes. Yeah, so talking about falling in love, we're about to approach another conversation this time, falling out of love. Well, um, why do people cheat? Hmm. Well, with us is Oluwa Tobilola, Tobiloba Olumide Ajay. She's a seasoned certified family life practitioner, a marriage and relationship counselor. She's also the lead consultant at Grace Made Family Institute, an institution on a mission to impact and transform at least one million plus marriages by 2030. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this conversation is a very controversial one. Mm, I know. Um, but first, I think we need to establish um, what cheating is mm -hmm. and the kinds of, teach, of cheating. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's the emotional cheating, there's the physical cheating, and I'm sure there's a long list of other cheats, cheatings or types of cheating. But first of all, let's establish what cheating is. Okay, thank you for having me. So cheating um, is also called infidelity, and um, it is when you are, it's an act of engaging in, a, um, in an emotional relationship or sexual romantic relationship with another person other than your spouse or your partner. Um, so when you already, when you already commit to something or someone, and you go against it, you're faithful to that commitment, then that is cheating. Okay, now yeah. let's talk about the types of cheating. Yeah, so um, I already said um, rom romantic um, relationship or emotional. So there's emotional cheating. Okay, uh, that what is, is emotional cheating? Yeah, that's what I want to say. So emotional cheating, or we, we, we can also call it um, emotional infidelity, is when there is no, um, there's no physical intimacy already yet. And um, so you're already, um, you're having conversations, you're flirting, you're, you're having feelings, you're attracted to someone. Those using pet names or those names. It's part of it. It's part of it. Yeah. Okay. So you have this special friend, mm -hmm. you know. And best friend. Best friend, office spouse. Office and, husband. Uh, uh, office wife. And wife. Yeah, yeah, you know, and you already know that you have feelings for this person. So, yeah, we're not saying you should not have friends mm -hmm. of the opposite sex, mm -hmm. but um, you already have feelings for this person. You're already looking forward to see this person. You're dressing up for them. You're flirting with them. Mm -hmm. You want to always talk to talk them. Um, and then, them. You, you know, they're just special. And when anybody raises anything, um, your, or your spouse raises an eyebrow or a red flag, you're, red, you're very defensive. Mm. So that's emotional cheating. What other cheating There's types of cheating? physical cheating, mm. which is, of course, the sex. Is, yeah. yeah, sex is involved. And there's micro cheating where... What's micro? <laughs> small. You cheat small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So micro cheating, you're texting. Ah, okay. And, you know, like phone mm. cheating. Oh, okay. Oh, there's phone cheating. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so you're texting them, you're, you're making calls, you're you know, chatting and all that. Okay. And of course, it's um, romantic in nature. Now let's just dive right into mm. the um, crux of the matter, which is why do people cheat? Mm. What are the signs to look out for in, um, an, in, in, in a relationship where there is infidelity? Okay. So people cheat for various reasons, right. and um, maybe uh, there, are, there are actually a lot of reasons, but I'll just mention a few and emphasize some. So people cheat because, probably because they are wired to cheat. And by wiring, wired? I mean, <laughs> yeah. So by wiring, I mean that sometimes we are programmed from childhood, maybe from how they were raised, um, they, they, they have unprocessed trauma, um, upbringing and stuff, so they are, it is in their nature. Mm. They just believe that that they is... Have been programmed. Yeah, they have been programmed. They just believe that that is the norm. Okay. And so, I mean, they don't, they don't see anything wrong with it. Okay. Or some will see something wrong with it, but, you know, they just cannot That's help okay. themselves. Okay. Because that was, there's already a programming in their, in their um, software. So, yeah, some people cheat because of that. Some people cheat because they just cannot, they lack self-control. 
So when they see, especially the men, they are very visual. Mm. So, you know, when they see maybe someone looking good, looking sexy, that is appealing to them, they just want to go ahead and um, do whatever, I mean, if it's emotional or physical cheating. Uh, some people cheat because of, um, I would say, unguided proximity. Mm. And that's, that's a very common lack one. Lack of having boundaries. Yeah, lack of boundaries. So this happens a lot to good people. Mm. Um, I mean, they have their marriages good, everything mm. is good, but they, they, still don't end to establish up, boundaries. they still end up cheating because they do not know how to establish boundaries. Yes. Okay. So maybe work, you're close to this person at work mm. and... Um, you know, because you always spend time together. Mm. I mean, you spend probably 10 hours, 8 to yeah. 10 hours at work. Yeah. You don't even have that with your spouse. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not careful, you know, it will go beyond what you expect, especially when you're now their shoulders to cry on, mm. everything they uh, communicate to you, they're having issues in their relationship, they are telling mm, you, and you, got, and you are, you know, allowing Indulging that. It, you, yeah. you know, before you know it, um, emotions are already involved and... Um, something will lead to another. So that's very common. And, you know, people have to um, just set boundaries. That's the, that's the main thing. People cheat also because of, um, I, I would say, low self-esteem. And um, say low self-esteem. Yeah. The, per, the, the cheater now is now the one having the self-esteem issues. The, yes. Okay. The cheater. Can you explain? Yeah. So um, people, a lot of people have low self-esteem. But they don't, they don't, they've not named it. They don't know they have low self-esteem. Mm. And so because of this low self-esteem, uh, they have constant need for validation, external validation. Oh. Yeah, so when they see somebody That's giving constantly them constantly complimenting that, them, okay. you know, they just feel like they owe this person mm. or they naturally gravitate towards those people. Mm. And so, you know, because they feed on it, it's like foiling yeah, their like system. Yeah. Yeah. So when, when somebody is constantly telling them, oh, you're very intelligent, mm. oh, you look very sexy, mm. oh, you look good, and you know, they're just, maybe you do something, especially if maybe the person is kind of higher, in a higher position, oh, yeah, is richer, appreciating them. you know, uh, yeah, it's someone they look up to, a mm. boss or something, because of their low self-esteem and they, you know, they need this thing, they need the validation, so they will do anything to keep, keep it. getting it. All right. And uh, before we, I know we need to wrap this up quickly, but I just need to ask you one more question. Is it yes or no? Do you think humans are biologically polygamous in nature? No, I don't think so. No, she doesn't think so. Yes, I agree that human beings are not biologically polygamous in nature. So stop using that as an excuse to cheat mm -hmm. and commit adultery and infidelity. Thank you so much, uh, Oluwa Tobiloba, Thank you for, for this conversation. Me. I know that we'll continue, you know, more on the relationship discussion um, next week. Yeah. All right, we have to go now. The show continues shortly. Stay with us, guys.